it's a long process between uh, submitting an invention disclosure and actually having a patent published. Uh, but it's important to realize that most of the writing and also the submission process to the U.S. Patent Office is handled by patent attorneys external to Argonne, which are contracted to do this work. Uh, nevertheless, the scientist, uh, you, will be closely involved in that whole process because these attorneys will always come back to you as the, the primary source of information when they need to make an argument to the, to the, the patent examiner about what is unique about your invention. There's a process that happens after you submit a patent application where it goes to the U.S. Patent Office and they will review it and try to determine whether or not it's, it is able to be patented. And so in one of the very first uh, patent applications that we submitted from my group, uh, when it came back from the patent examiner, they had rejected all the claims. And uh, this was discouraging to us because we felt that this was a pretty important patent because it was directly in the interest of a company that we were working with and a project that was uh, fun and exciting and, uh, and this company had a, lot of, had a lot of stake. So reasons why the claims were uh, rejected is that our technology was very similar to an existing technology. So what we needed to do was to try to identify a critical difference. And so we looked back uh, through our patent application, and it turns out that it's only the words in the application that you can select from in order to modify your claims to, to, to speak to this distinction. And even though the patent application was thousands of words, we were, it came down to a single word. The word was nanoparticles. So our technology had nanoparticles as part of its critical aspect, and, and this competing technology did not. So when we were able to clarify that important distinction, patent was allowed and it was and it was licensed by this company so the the moral of the story to me anyway is that when you uh, when you supply the information for the patent application to get uh, to get written include in there as much information as you have available to you at the time because uh, in the end it might come down to just one word so I, I strongly urge all of you to attend the IP symposium uh, because it's important to learn the, the process for taking an invention and, and making a patent out of it, and this is really the best way to get all the information that you need in one place.